You know, one of my first IoT projects was to monitor the garage door from anywhere in the world so that when I would leave the house, I could just pull my phone up and see if the door was open or closed. And that first project used ultrasonic transducers, kind of like a break the beam kind of approach. And uh, that worked out fine and all. But then after I designed the trig board here, uh, that was a total game changer because now I could send push notifications out when the door opens, closes, or even left open for some period of time. And all that is configurable within the trig board's configurator. And so I used magnetic door sensors with the trig board, and that worked fine with the garage door, but occasionally, because the door is so big and heavy, it would kind of shake its way down the rail, and sometimes you would get, you know, multiple push notifications, because it would kind of chatter on that reed switch. So I moved on to using a cheap little mercury tilt switch, and this is very small. It's a little glass bulb there with a little droplet of mercury in there. So as it opens and closes there, we're making contact on these two leads. And that works out great with the trig board's dry contact input. And what's nice about the mercury is that as the door's kind of shaking its way up the rails there, you're not going to actually cause any chatter on the contact. It needs to be fully tipped over like that in order for it to break contact. So that's just one nice thing about mercury tilt switches. Now this is mercury, which is of course a hazardous substance. So make sure that you are fully aware of all the dangers of working with mercury because if this little glass bulb here breaks, it could be a real problem. And I've got links on the project page to uh, the EPA's website, which uh, explains all the dangers as well as how to clean it up if it should break. All right, so we're just going to jump over to the docs page for this project. Off to the left here, you see garage door monitor. And right here, I've got a nice little GIF showing how I've got it mounted there at the top panel of the garage door, which I think makes the most sense because, you know, as it, the door is opening, this is going to be the first panel that tilts over. So you want to get that push notification as soon as possible. Or also, you know, if somebody's breaking in, like if they stole your remote or something, uh, they may not open the door all the way, so you'd still want to get that push notification out. And right here is the eBay page uh, from where I got them. And again, I have no idea if these are banned in certain countries or not, or states, you know, so just double check all of that stuff before you order these. And you probably already have this part here, and it doesn't matter with the polarity on the sensor input, but uh, I just soldered that those two leads there to a standard JST 2 millimeter. Uh, connector and that plugs straight into the trig board. So I made this little gif here to kind of show how it needs to be oriented inside the enclosure. So you see when it's the door is closed, the little droplet of mercury is sitting at the bottom part of the bulb in there. And then as it rolls over, it kind of rolls itself over and then pins itself at the top part of the bulb. So you might want to actually experiment with this just to make sure that you've got it oriented correctly. And I like to make it so that the bulb has the contacts closed when the door is closed. You know, that just makes setting up the configuration a whole lot easier. Now, I wouldn't just mount it like that and leave it because, you know, in a garage, things are getting bumped and, you know, smashed all the time, you know, and this is mercury. So let's just seal it all in. So I use this RTV silicone, but... Uh, I think in future installs, I'm going to use hard epoxy and just pot the whole thing in epoxy. So, But this is how I did it. And you see I've got the switch kind of lifted away from the enclosure just to fully enclose it in uh, this RTV. So there it is all in the 3D printed case. And it fits a nice little battery in there. And I kind of labeled which way is top with arrows. And then I had a little screw there uh, that I could reuse for this. So I pulled that out, zipped it in, some double-sided tape on the back, and project was done. So I'm not going to get into setting up the configuration too much because I've made a million videos on that. But basically, you're going to want to go and choose your service for this project. I use Pushover. Set up your account over there. Get the, uh, the API token keys copy and paste those right over into the configurator that sets up the push notification and then you can decide if you want to trigger on contact open close both 
So you get a push notification when it opens and closes, as well as using the timer to uh, detect when the door is left open for some period of time, or left closed if you wanted to. So uh, anyway, that is the, just a quick little trig board project that I thought would be kind of fun to make a video on. So uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.